you guys are in for a treat because the 13th annual Bluegrass Bidding and Barbecue is coming up on October 20th. And this is all to benefit Historic Columbia. It's put on by the Palladium Society. And I have Anna Kate Twitty here today. She's representing Historic Columbia. And then we also have Grace Salter. She's the co-chair of Columbia's Palladium Society. Welcome, ladies. How are you? Doing well. Doing Thanks well. for having us. It's great to have you here. We want to go ahead and talk about this event being the 13th annual. It's um, it's huge, and everybody's talking about it. So um, we'll go ahead and get you, Grace, to give us the details. Yes, so this year's event will take place on Thursday, October 20th at the Robert Mills House, one of Historic Columbia's um, historic homes right in downtown Columbia. We're very excited. We'll have um, over 100 different auction items ranging from experience packages in Columbia to travel destinations to different historic um, cities across the southeast. We'll have the music by the Mustache Brothers, who are a local bluegrass band. And we'll cover everything from you, your classic and modern bluegrass favorites to some of their amazing originals. So we're very excited to have them back for the third year in a row. And we'll also feature um, food by Yellow Dog Barbecue. Um, this is their second year coming back, so we'll have some great authentic barbecue. And um, we're introducing a new pickled vegetable station this year. So oh it's going to be very exciting. And one thing I love, they have stuff for vegetarians, you know. that I saw yes. that in the press release. Yes. So those of us <laughs> vegans, yes. Thank you very much for that. Um, how can people get tickets for this event? You can purchase tickets online by visiting historiccolumbia.org. And um, on the events page, you'll see the event description for Bluegrass Bidding and Barbecue, and it will take you um, to the online ticketing site, um, so you can purchase them that way. Okay. We're in for a treat because um, she was mentioning the Mustache Brothers. They're going to be um, headlining uh, this year's event, and they are in studio with us right now. They're kind of warming up, and we're going to get them to play just a little bit, so you'll know what to expect on October um, the Six, uh, I'm sorry, the 20th. Yes. yes. Okay. You guys ready to hear some bluegrass? Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, yes. All right. Let, let's bring them on. She's a long way from Houston, long way from the old Texas blue. from tell you right on the steam train bound for somewhere new there's a rainbow on the mountain she's waiting on the sun to shine on through we wouldn't know the rain from the paint unless she walked in a boots standing in the rain And you guys have been playing how long together? We, a little over three years now. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Yes, and ma um, homegrown right here right in Columbia, here South Columbia. Carolina. Yes, ma'am. From Columbia. Yes, All right. Well, we look forward to hearing you. Well, thanks for having us. Yes, that is awesome. Let's talk a little bit about the funding and where the money goes because some people might not know about the Historic Columbia or the Palladium Society. So let's start with you, Anna Kate. Tell us a little bit about Historic Columbia and how it was founded. Absolutely. So Historic Columbia, so the, this event, um, Bluegrass Bidding and Barbecue, is a fundraiser to support Historic Columbia. And um, the past year, um, the Palladium Society has raised more than $30,000 from this event and then their chili cook-off in February. And all of those proceeds support Historic Columbia. And a lot of folks don't realize that Historic Columbia, we are a nonprofit organization, um, and our mission is to serve as the stewards and preserve and tell the history of Columbia. We have such great history right here in our city, um, and there's so many um, opportunities um, when buildings may not they might be torn down or renovated in not a historical 
context. So we are very active in preservation. Mm -hmm. Um, In fact, um, Historic Columbia was founded um, by a grassroots um, preservation group that tried to save the Robert Mills House. Um, So we're very actively involved in Richland County and the city of Columbia in making sure that properties are preserved in a proper manner. Um, But we also have a a ton of community events that we host. We just hosted our Jubilee Festival, which is a celebration of African-American history and culture. Mm -hmm. We have educational programs. We do walking tours. We have um, six historic properties that we manage. Five of those properties serve as house museums. So we offer daily tours um, Tuesday through Sunday. Um, so we've got a lot happening at Historic Columbia. Um, we're actively out in the community um, speaking about the importance of historic, um, of renovating in a historic context and preserving in a proper manner. Um, but we just, we really want to make sure our folks understand how important our history is and that um, we need to make sure that um, we, we are properly remembering our past, which affects us today and then our future generations. Okay. And what about you, Grace? Tell us a little bit about the Palladium Society. Yes. So the Palladium Society is a group of dynamic young professionals um, that serve as a fundraising arm for Historic Columbia. Mm -hmm. So through your membership to Historic Columbia and the Palladium Society, members have the opportunity to go to great events throughout the year, um, including Bluegrass Bing and Barbecue, the Chili Cook-Off, which Anna Kate touched on, and then we have different events throughout the, the year as well, like Renovation Rodeo, where we actually go into individuals' homes who have they've bought a, a home in a historic district and they've renovated it, renovated it and brought it up to a you know more modern time. So there's a lot to do. The Playdom Study has a lot to offer, and it's a great way to network with you know like-minded professionals who share a passion for history and preservation in their city. And how can people join the Palladium Society? You can also join online by visiting historiccolumbia.org, and there's a tab to, to join, and you'll add the Palladium Society onto your membership. Any particular uh, requirements or anything? Just If you just want to participate, that's right. it? No requirements. That's it. Okay. It's just yeah. a requirement just of wanting to, to participate. Yeah. And, and the great thing, too, about becoming a member of the Palladium Society is you get a great discount at all of our events. So it almost pays for itself right away. If, mm-hmm. say, you want to attend um, Bluegrass Bidding and Barbecue and also the Chili Cook-Off in February, it's almost paid for itself right there. Mm-hmm. And you get to support Historic Columbia, and it's almost like a sense of ownership that you are part of the organization. Um, Historic Columbia is a nonprofit and thrives in, 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 in really – is only able to do what we do through um, funds that are, are through memberships, private donations, and through grants. So we rely heavily on the support of our members. All right. So again, um, if you want to support the um, Palladium Society through Historic Columbia, simply come out to this next event. It's October 20th, uh, the annual Bluegrass Bidding and Barbecue um, it sounds like it's going to be a whole lot of fun. Can't wait to be there. Uh, what's your website address? Um, they, people can visit us at historiccolumbia.org. And um, one of the great things about this event, too, is it's going to be set on the grounds of um, the Robert Mills House. Mm-hmm. So it's a really nice, fun event, but it's also in a very historic setting. So it's a great time. Last year we had about 400 people. Okay. Great food. Like you said, vegetarian options as well. So you don't, <laughs> y- if you're a vegetarian, don't, don't shy away. We have great music from the Mustache Brothers. So do come out. It's a really fun celebration. And you can get to take home some really cool items. Yes. I know this year we've got some destination packages to some other historic um, cities in town and every anything from a, a yoga gift card to a, a handbag to a piece of art so there's something for everyone all right ladies let's do it let's go have some fun and thanks okay. for coming in today thanks for having us we appreciate it thank you for having us that's a wrap standing in the rain in the rain gold she's just waiting on the Thank you.